Now, I'm always looking for ways to do things more efficiently. And uh, as you develop these sites more and more, you start finding little tricks and uh, uh, things to do that. You kind of add those to your own little bank. And uh, then you can start using these on uh, future sites. And one of those things is um, how to handle situations that we've done here a couple times now which is uh, comparing. So we did that here to get the active class and we also did it down here in the uh, select box to figure out uh, if the opened user was selected or not. So what I want to do is create a function that'll do that for us. It'll uh, cut down on some of the code because remember I said I'd, I'd have a cleaner way to do this here when we did this a couple videos back and uh, that's what I'm talking about and I'm gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it sandbox.php and this is pretty much where I'm gonna put any function that doesn't uh, doesn't really have a home yet um, as we add more and more functions I will come up with better ways to organize them but right now this one kinda of stands alone so we're gonna throw it in the sandbox file And before we do anything in here, let's go over to setup and make sure that we, we include this. So after the uh, template.php, we'll do another include functions slash sandbox.php. Okay, so now let's hop over to sandbox and we'll do some PHP tags. and now we need to create that function so we start out by telling PHP we want to create a function and let's give it a name and we'll go ahead and call this selected and unlike some of the other functions we've done we don't need the database connection uh, not at least at this point that I can think of so before we figure out what we need, let's go ahead and start writing the function. Then we can figure that out. So we're going to be comparing two values. So let's do this. Let's do if. And we'll just be generic. We'll make a variable called value 1 is equal to value 2. then what? So right now we'll figure out the what here in a second but right now we already know that we need these two values so we need to put these up here so value 1 value 2 now in both these cases we're, that we're building this for, we're doing the same thing. We need to return something that tells the object that it's uh, selected or active. But in these cases we need to return something a little bit different. So for the links on the sidebar we need to send back that the uh, class is equal to active. However in the option box or the select box we need to send back the word selected. So we could create some more ifs in here to kind of dictate what we want to send back or echo out should this be true or we could just go ahead and send that to the function ourselves. so let's go ahead and send another value to the function and we'll go ahead and call this return and this is what we want to send back so this gives us the ability to use this function for many different things and kind of customize it on the fly when we're calling that function. So pretty much all we need to do is do an echo statement and we'll do echo and we're just going to echo the value of return. Should be as simple as that. And if you don't understand what we're doing just yet, if it doesn't make sense, 
and go ahead and save this and we'll go ahead and run it and I'll show you what we do so let's scroll up here to the first time we're going to use it which is right here so I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this and paste it right here on 67 just so we have it as a reference so this is the uh, old way to do it but you can see we've got our value 1 value 2 and then this is what we want to return is the word active so all we need to do is let's erase this here and just leave the PHP tags and we'll just run that function so we'll run selected and then in our parentheses we need to give a value 1 which is going to be page underscore list ID comma, then value 2, which is opened, ID, and then the return value, which in this case we're going to, and this is where I said we can kind of customize this function on the fly. We want it to echo out the word active, should this be true. So in quotes, we'll just write active. And we'll go ahead and test that, but let's first let's comment out this so this doesn't run. If this is working right, I should be able to click on About Us, and this should become active. There you go, that's pretty cool. So let's hop back over to Aptana. We can go ahead and remove this line here. We're done with that. Uh, this, this cleaned it up a little bit. Um, actually, let's make sure we close that with a semicolon. So let's scroll down here to the select box. So here we can do the same thing. We'll just leave this uh, here just for a reference really quick. Because we need to do two different versions of this function. So we'll run selected and value 1 is going to be user underscore data ID then value 2 is going to be opened user that gets the user ID and then we need to tell it what to echo out so for the return value it's going to be selected Go ahead and close that with a semicolon, and we can go ahead and get rid of this line, and we'll do the same down here. So we'll do selected, and this time it's user data ID again, ID, second value is going to be the user ID and again the return is going to be selected close that and we'll get rid of this line and clean this up a little bit and save that and let's go ahead and take a look so if I click on about us again we should still see John Rainey is selected. There you go. So now we can reuse that function anytime we need to do this across the uh, admin.